you're currently in the state of Florida. And on uh, Sunday, we saw a record number of COVID-19 cases with uh, more than 15,000. So what do you think is going wrong? Leadership or lack thereof. I mean, we have a governor, you know, I don't know if you're familiar with Ron DeSantis, but um, essentially he's a mini Trump. And in fact, I think a large part of why he was put in as the governor of Florida was to deliver Florida to Trump in the election. And so that's what he's working to do. So whether it's forcing people to go back to work, which remember, Florida is a right to work state. So there's very little regard for labor in, in our state. And that is one of the biggest pushes, I think, in terms of getting people to go back is they just don't care one way or the other. And to say that our, we're having some thriving open economy, and in fact, it's that's delusional. So we never properly shut down in the first place. So let me be clear about that. Even when we shut down, it wasn't it wasn't a real shutdown. It was never really enforced here. It was never really taken seriously here. And so to say that we've opened up is somewhat misleading because we never properly shut down. So this has been mismanaged from beginning to end. They certainly were not working on building up our resources and infrastructure in terms of hospital beds and ventilators during the shutdown, which was the point to flatten the curve to make us be able to handle the incoming um, cases. So this has been mismanaged from start to finish. And we see a push from the Trump administration, uh, Betsy DeVos, education Education Secretary, basically threatening to withhold funding from schools if they don't reopen. And at a time where Florida is surpassing other countries in terms of new cases uh, daily, Ron DeSantis is also echoing the same sentiment from Trump's administration. He's pushing people to reopen. So, I mean, as a Floridian, someone with children, what's the sentiment that we get from people is there's got to be mass terror about sending children to school in this. It's a combination of the health fear factor of sending our kids to school and then the fact that people are still coping with that they're not getting their unemployment benefits. Their kids, whether they're going back to a physical school or going back to online school, these people cannot be home and taking care of their kids and they're not getting any sort of help or recourse or social safety. We, we have no social safety net. So all these working parents, they're, they're damned if they do and damned if they don't. So on the one hand, there's people that are essentially going to be forced to send their kids back to school because they have nothing else that they can do with their kids. So it's, it hurts the parents um, in so many different ways. It's not just a matter of that it's unhealthy for the kids, which it is. It's not safe. But it just is putting parents in this horrible position of having to decide between their, their job and their kids' health and all these. It's, it's a disaster. Yeah, the way that we responded to this collectively as a country, I mean, I can't even describe it. It's it's honestly shocking. Like the response is comparable to what we'd expect from a failed state. And, you know, you have some governors doing an adequate job. But I mean, overall, we're only as strong as our weakest links. So if we have one single governor that's not doing a great job, that endangers everyone else in the country. So it really it's frustrating. So I want to kind of move into this discussion about your opponent, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, because in a position of power, you'd be able to really make a difference. What do you think she's done right or wrong with regard to COVID-19? Like, how would you grade her? I, I don't, I'm not going to give her like an official rating, but I can tell you what she's been doing. So all I have heard or seen from her is essentially just talking that um, it's Trump and DeSantis, Trump and DeSantis. They're doing everything wrong. It's Trump and DeSantis. I haven't seen her proposing anything. I haven't seen her speaking out on behalf of our small businesses that are suffering. I haven't seen her speaking out on behalf of um, the millions of unemployed people and the, the amount of them in our state that are just so inadequately being able to, they, they can't even get the resources that they are entitled to because our system is so woefully insufficient. And while I recognize those are functions of our state government, I haven't heard her saying anything about it. Now, what she has done is she has had several forums during the COVID. One was on childhood drowning. One was on childhood internet predators. And one was on scam artists. So she's essentially been holding forums for people whose basic needs are already met. Because if you're in a position where you're worried about your child on the internet, that assumes you have a computer for your child to use. If you're worried about your kid having drowning, it's you're stuck at home with your pool. So she's speaking to a very small group of people as they go through this pandemic. But as to the bulk amount of working people, I haven't heard her say anything. 